The second half of the Sunshine Double is here. The WTA Miami Open draw preview prediction video. That's what we're going to get into today. It's no rest for the wicked. Absolutely no rest for the wicked. Indian Wells just finished. Iga Sviontek came out on top. She'll be looking to complete the Sunshine Double, which would be incredible. She's won Indian Wells twice. Last year, of course, Petra Kvitova beat Rebecca in the final of Miami. So Sviontek will be looking to win here and create some more history, which she's been doing constantly, of course, in the last few years. She is the number one seed. We're going to go through each and every single match, and then ultimately, I will give you guys my predicted winner. So, Yashvantek is the number one seed, as I said, and she's coming into this in some really good form. Was playing fantastically in Indian Wells, didn't drop a single set, and she's looking strong, like in the conditions. Uh, Miami, by the way, is slightly from what I remember and from last year is slightly quicker slightly than Indian Wells but it's still a slow hardcore Freck plays Georgie will go Georgie to get through that one Gocheva's got a qualifier Noskova Pavlachenko both have buys Rogers is back Shelby Rogers could see her back in the mix she plays a Linda for Vitova will go for Rogers uh, Vekic Oh, Plishko, what a first round that could be. Some really big hitting from both sides of the court. I'm going to go with Vekic. Alexandrova has a bye. So does Paolini. Recent Masters 1000 champion, of course. Kennan and Trevor Sam both have qualifiers. We'll go for them. Navarro, really good run at Indian Wells, of course. Uh, beat Sabalenka. Uh, you ended up losing to Zachary, but she's, look, she had a good deep run. And she's been playing some fantastic tennis this year. She's uh, a young American. She's coming through and she continues to rise up the rankings. Uh, Flanders has a bye and Maria plays a qualifier. Buskova to beat Zhu and Pagula and Goff both have byes. Kruger to beat her qualifier. And I'm going to go for Ruse to beat Srebus Tormo. Kostyuk and Garcia both have byes. Tomova to beat a qualifier. Asaka beat Kocciretto. Svitolina and Katakina both have byes. Martic to beat qualifier. Stevens Kerber, wow. Mm. Battle of the Grand Slam champions. Kerber had a decent run last week. Lost to Wozniacki uh, towards the latter of the tournament. Stevens went out early to Kasakina. Kasakina's a tough customer though. She lost in three sets. I'm going to go for Stevens to get through Kerber just because of the conditions and also the home crowd. I also think she's going to be really fired up after losing to Kasakina early at Indian Wells. Castea and Potopo both have buys. Collins has a qualifier. Erica Andreva, so the older sister of Mira Andreva, has a wild card and she plays at Venetian. will go for the Andreva to win. Jabur and Sakri both have buys. Jabur, of course, with a disappointing Indian Wells result and you know, she just hasn't quite managed to string together a number of wins after the Wimbledon final loss. So there's also some external factors going on with her as well, with some uh, some bits going on in the world. I think she's been quite distressed, uh, rightly so. But let's see whether her tennis is able to improve here in Miami. Blink for two, one and Darius Seville to beat Zhang Shui for me. Yashomska and Kalen Scare both have buys. Radikani to beat Wang. And then we've got Ostapenko who's got a buy. Kudamato has got a buy. I'm going to go for... Uh, I'm going to go for... Wang to beat Baptiste. Uh, Wang Jinyu. And Schneider to beat Venus Williams, who's got a wild card. Madison Keys has a buy, as has Mertens. Bronzetti and Dolahai both play qualifiers. Rabakina and Zheng Shinwen both have buys. I'm going to go for... Bogdan to beat Shiniakova. Stern to beat Wang. Azarenka and Bolter both have buys. Brenda Fravitova has a qualifier. Diane Parry, decent results recently to beat Christian. Uh, Adam Meyer and Samson Nova both have buys. Bookser, Potent Save will go Potent Saver. Serenko, Lynette will go Lynette. Krachikova has a buy, so does Kalanina. Wozniaki Burrell. Mm. Wozniaki. 
and Halep's back, and what a great first round. Simona Halep versus Paula Badosa. Now, I'm going to be honest. I have no idea whether Badosa is actually going to play or not. And that's why I'm almost swaying towards picking Halep because she's pulled out a lot of tournaments just before. And it's after I've done my predictions. And in some of them, I picked her to win her first round match and all she's, she lost. So it's really how much confidence I have in whether she's going to play or not. Because I think if she plays, she'll win. It's Simone Halep's first match back from her layoff after being uh, after serving a backdated uh, two-year, was it two-year? Nine-month sentence, or even, I think it was. Uh, Halep has a wild card. If Badosa's fit, though, and play, she should win. So I'll go Bado- oh, no. I'm going to go Halep because I don't think Badosa's going to play. Sublink has a bye. I hope she does because it's been really frustrating, I think, uh, for herself and obviously for people watching as well. They really want to see her play. Understandably, she's an exciting player to watch. She's a talent, former world number two. She just isn't able to get that back sorted, which is a really tricky injury as well. So it's a shame. Uh, she wanted to beat Georgie, Noska to Um I'm going to go for Roger to beat Pavla Chenkova. Vekic to beat Alexandrova, Paulini to beat Kennan, Navarro to beat Trevisan, Fernandez to beat Maria, Pogu to beat Buzkova, Goff to beat Kruger, Kostyuk to beat Ruz. Kostyuk, of course, making the semi finals of Indian Wells. Really good run from her. Lost to Sviontek. Underwhelming performance, but up until then, playing some inspired tennis, she's got an incredibly powerful baseline game. Garcia to beat Tomova, and Osaka plays Svitolina. This is a really tough one for Osaka. Honestly, because Svitolina will get everything back. And she'll make Osaka really work for her points. But, in saying that, I think Osaka will pick up a big win. I think it'll be this one. Okay, so, Kasakina Martic. Let's go with Kasakina. Stevens Castea. Stevens be Castea. Collins to be Potipova. Jabert to be Andreva. Sakari to be Blinkova. Blinkovas? Um, no pushover though. Yashramska to be Sivia. Oh, Yashramska's been really up and down. We'll go for Yashemska, though. She also had an injury, didn't she, in Indian Wells. Uh, pulled out after being 4 love down against Radikanu in the first set. Radikanu, Kalinske is a tough one. A really tough one for Radikanu. Who ended up losing to Sabalenka. Put up a good fight, it has to be said. And the problem is that loss doesn't look as good. Uh given that Navarro then beat Sabalenka. Sabalenka went on to win the tournament of Indian Wells or went even in the semi-finals or finals. You start saying, okay, Radicano, you know, she got pretty close. Fine. Um, but how good really was that version of Sabalenka? She, she was pretty... Well, she was playing pretty well. Kanskaya, very talented. I'm going to go with Radicano. Oh, you know what? Though? It's tough. Kalinske has been playing good tennis. The Radicano that beats Sabalenka, oh, sorry, that loss of Sabalenka, I think she beats Kalinske, but it's whether she plays that level. Let's see. Ospenko to beat a qualifier. Kudmato to beat Wang. And Key to beat Schneider. Mertens to beat Bronzetti. Rebecca to beat Dolahide. Zhengshin went to beat Bogdan. Yeah. Azarenka to beat Stearns. Bolter should beat from, uh, I don't know, actually. Brenda Favitova is tough. We'll go Bolter. And I'm going to go Diane Parry to cause an upset and beat Hadan Meyer, which is 11th seed. I'm also going to go for Putin Saver to beat Samsonova, so another upset there. Kuchikova to beat Lynette. Wozniaki to beat Kalanina. And Sabalenka to beat Halep. Too early for Halep, I think, at the moment. She wanted to beat Noskova. Now, she got revenge over Noskova at Indian Wells. I think she'll do the same here. I, I think the Australian Open loss was a bit of a blip. And also the courts are very quick at the Australian Open. It's not the most suited surface for Shrontek's game. Uh, Vekic beat Rogers. 
Pauline Navarro. Wow, that'd be a great two really informed players. I'm gonna go Paulini. Am I? Yeah. And then I'm gonna go Fernandez. I think she's gonna make a bit of a run here to beat Pagula, which is a big win. I think Goff will beat Kostyuk. Um I know she hasn't been playing great, but she went to the semi finals of Indian Wells. The fact that she made the semi-finals not playing great is a really, really positive sign, in all honesty. And Asaka Garcia. Could Asaka get revenge be Garcia? She beat her, I think, after, didn't she? In another match. So, yes, I guess is the, is the uh, answer to that. Let's have a quick look. Pretty sure. Garcia um, Osaka. So yeah, they played in Doha after the Australian Open and Osaka won, so I'll go for her to win again. Uh, I, I just think she was a little bit obviously cold playing in the Australian Open and I, I do think that even though the conditions are a bit slower, I think they're more suited to her. She made a good run in the Miami Open a couple of years ago, making the final losing to Sviontek. I think Garcia her game is it's definitely not as potent in slower conditions. Um and it's the same for Osaka, but I don't think I don't think it is to the same degree. I just yeah, I don't think her level will drop to the same degree that Garcia's does. Kasakina Stevens, so a rematch, and I'm gonna go for Kasakina to get the win again. Jabir Collins. Jabir should be able to soak up Collins' pressure and, and pace, and she has a variation uh, to, to win, but this version of Jabir, who's been playing recently, can she can she win? I mean, she'll have to play some really good tennis. That's really just the... the that's the, the crux of the matter, in all honesty, and it's a difficult one because I don't know which Ons Jabir is going to turn up. The head set is actually 2 1 in favor of Collins, by the way. Collins won last, uh, won 2022, though. They haven't played for two years. I'm going to go for Jabir. Zachary to be Yashomska. She had a good run at Indian Wells. I was impressed with her run. I was also impressed with her first set against Sviontek. Unlucky to get broken at 5 4 uh, and then lose the set. And the second set was a complete mauling, really, unfortunately. But. Sakari seems to be improving again. Her serve was popping in the first set as well. That one well, I've been impressed with some uh, clear clear improvements on her serve and also just her general game. But I'm just hoping that she's able to start winning some of these really big finals and against some of these big players because, you know, confident Sakari, who uh, is able to be thrown into the mix. She's such an athletic specimen as well, and she has a lot of tools at her disposal. Is going to be a really dangerous one, and it's only good for the WTA tour. So I was almost rooting for her to win against Shriontek, even though I love Shriontek. I, was, I just thought for this, the scope of the WTA tour uh, and the scene as a whole, it would have been a real positive thing, I think, but it wasn't to be. Uh, Radikano Ostapenko. I think Ostapenko has too much power for Radikano. Uh, in all honesty, Radikano will attack the Ostapenko serve. So she'll have a lot of, uh, I imagine, quite a lot of inroads into the Ostapenko serve and be able to return well and, and get into those games. But I just think Ostapenko has too much power. Uh, Key speak Kudamatova, Rebecca to Mertens. Rebecca, hopefully, she's fit and healthy. Azarenka to beat Zheng Shenwen. I just think she's got the know how on hard courts, and Zheng Shenwen hasn't had a great run of results since the Australian Open. Bolter, I'm going to go for Parry to beat Bolter. Put then Saber to beat Krajikova. Sablenka to beat Wozniacki. Right. Shun to beat Vekic. Riontek to beat Vekic. Fernandez to beat Paolini. Goff to beat Osaka. Kasakini to beat Jabir. Sakari to beat Ostapenko. Rabaka to beat Keys. 
Azarenka to beat Parry, Sabalenka to beat Putin Saver. Shrontek to beat Fernandez. Goff to beat Kasatkina. These are quarterfinals now. Rabaka to beat Sakari. I'm going to go for a bit of an upset. I'm going to go for Azarenka to beat Sabalenka. Sabalenka hasn't made it. I think she hasn't made a semi final since the Australian Open win. I think she's not having a low. I think she's still obviously winning matches. She's not losing in the first rounds, but I think this might be a little bit of a. Or maybe it is a low until the clay court season, where I think she'll then start ramping up for Roland Garros. But yeah, but she's not been off. I would say she hasn't played terribly, but she hasn't maybe hit the heights that we might have expected of her, given how she played at the Australian Open. So I'm going to go for Azarenka to cause the upset against Sabalenka. Then I'm going to go for Briontek to be Goff and Rabakina to be Azarenka. And I'm going to go for Rabakina to be Sviontek in the final. So I'm going to go for Rabakina to win. Now, this is a really big call because I have no idea if she's going to be fully fit or not. This is assuming she's going to be fit and healthy and fingers crossed she is. Let me know in the comment section below who you think is going to win and why. Rabakina, you know, has had good results. Uh, in the I'm just, oh, sorry, in the Sunshine Double, some deep runs at Indian Wells last year. Won Miami. She's a reigning. Sorry, last year lost the Miami final to Petra Kvitova. So she clearly likes the conditions. And I think she'll go one step further if she's fit at this tournament. And even though Shvontek's playing so well, I do think Rabakina on hard court still is a tough proposition for Igor Shvontek. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you very much, guys. Stay safe and well, and we'll see you on the next video.